answering work emails and putting yourself up some awfully vanilla dreams. You deserve cookies and cream. I'm fine. I'm just a little off schedule. Maybe try and grab a power nap after work. We've got that launch party tonight. Gonna need your charm meter set to a solid 9.8. Mm, that's tonight. I was hoping that I could conk out on the couch with a bowl of cornflakes. You're not still moping about what's his name, are you? It's been weeks. We need to get you back out there. Please don't make me beg. Fine, you win. You always do. Who knows? You might even meet a celebrity. Isn't that our job? If I'm tired. I'm going home early. Just be ready by eight. You're always late.
So, Alyssa, what brings you here tonight? Well, Jack, my very annoying, pushy, but well-meaning friend, Rachel, who you just met before abandoning me, she forced me to come. But I'm also a publicist here to represent my firm. Hi, Jack, by a nice society. Do so we have a little comment?
big date. I'm thinking saucy serving wench meets posh princess. <laughs> I doubt he's even gonna call, but I was thinking lady in waiting. That best of fairness. Mm, even room for social climbing. I like it. Just remember, you might hail from Connecticut, but you're still royalty to me. Oh. <laughs> By the way, obviously I'm rooting for you and want you to get married and have many blue-blooded babies. But if the moment presents itself and it doesn't feel weird, maybe you could talk up KLC a bit. Imagine if we got him to switch reps, the two of us would be running this place. Nothing obvious, nothing obvious, just, you know, something to keep on the back burner. <laughs> Is that him? I don't know. Hello? Hey there. Um, hi. Um, Is it him? Uh, how, uh, nice to hear from you. <laughs> Am I calling at a bad time? No, uh, 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 not at all. Uh, we just seem to have a, a bad connection. <laughs> My bars are dropping like flies over here. Flies. I don't know. I was just calling because I've been thinking of you. Oh. This might seem rather bold of me, but I'm only in town for a short while, and I'd quite like to make the most of it. Are you asking me out? I suppose I am. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, let me just check my schedule. Oh, you are in luck. I have a last minute cancellation. Splendid. How does brunch sound? It sounds like the meal between breakfast and lunch. What are you doing? So, um, when were you thinking? Well, I was thinking, how about now? Excuse me? Look out the front window. duty-bound to present a picture of nobility, dip up a lip. But the truth is, all families have their problems. It's just that ours they refer to as scandals. I think I read somewhere in a tabloid about a feud with your brother. Don't believe everything you read. Now, we have our disagreements, but it's no Game of Thrones. It's mostly just 
Betty Arguments, who gets to sit in front for family portraits, who gets to use which vacation house, stupid gossip, things like that. Mm, so that means you don't have a dragon. Only on our coat of arms. It must be so fascinating to be a part of such history. I can barely trace my family past my great-grandmother. Sometimes tradition is a trap. At the moment, I'm much more focused on what lies ahead of me. Can I tell you a secret? Yes. I am a PR. Gossip is my trade.
should know there's a lot of extra baggage that goes along with a person in his lord's position. It's uh, not for everyone. recently. Timothy has raised concerns. Are you here to diagnose me? Shall I open up and say ah? I'm no doctor, but I do have the ear of the royal physician, who informed us unequivocally how dangerous it is to taper off unsupervised. You're getting obsessive again, sir. Tell me your job is to protect me. You have to patronize me, so go. Leave my side. Hello? 
Alan. Alyssa, hey. Uh, I was just, uh, you know, wondering how you've been. I'm doing good, thanks, Chuck. Great, great. Um, I was just, you know, reaching out and, well, we didn't really end on the best term. And uh, I just wanted to let you know that I still care about you. And I don't want to lose you for my life. Well, you kind of made that choice for the both of us. I'm not trying to excuse any of my behavior. Hmm. I'm glad we're on the same page. I was just hoping that maybe we could meet for a coffee or something soon. Um, catch up a little? Shouldn't you be busy with your new girlfriend? Not like that, Alyssa. I'd just like to see you. Nothing serious. Just talk things out. I don't know. I'm pretty busy. Please, uh, just one conversation. Okay. I don't know. Maybe we can meet for coffee sometime. That sounds nice. Okay. Well, I have to go. Okay. Great. Um, talk soon. Please come downstairs. Let me take you to dinner. What? I can't wait to see you. I'm here now. Just come talk to me. Okay, fine. But I'm not going to dinner with you. I'll take it. I'll be out in a minute. I'll be waiting for you down here. Chuck! Do I know you? Aren't you? show you the true me. I am really flattered. I am, but I have a job and I have responsibilities. Well, I already took the meeting. Come with me. Just 
for a few days. A stolen moment in time. used to take us here to go hunting when we were kids. Hasn't gotten much use since he passed. Press off watching it ages ago. It's so beautiful. Yes, it is. Come, this way. Here we are. Tessel in. Have us a cocktail later on, Sam. Sounds wonderful. Splendid. Wow.
Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Came to fetch you for that drink. We planning on wearing that as a hat? Uh, oh, you see, no, I, I, I got distracted, but I found something. What did you find? This earring. That's odd. Is that blood? Blood? Yeah. No, that looks more like rust to me. Likely dropped by some careless member of the cleaning staff. You know what they say? The cheaper the trinket, the darker the tarnish. Come, I set up a surprise for you outside in the garden. Follow me. <laughs> now we're almost there. You're doing great. Boy, you can open your eyes. Transatlantic travel and life's grand adventure. <laughs> to adventure. I cannot believe that you grew up here. Running these halls, there's such opulence. My childhood was spent exploring a 20 by 20 foot backyard in the suburbs. <laughs> Growing up, I had no idea how ostentatious all this was. I just thought Truth be told, I spent a lot of lonely hours out here. Out hiding in those woods. No one searching for me. No one willing to play my games. I don't believe you. I bet you're the most popular guy in school. <laughs> you're thinking of Timothy. No, I was the, uh, the shy one, prone to poetry and mood swings. I only blossomed later on. A hard-fought climb. And what made you... Change. Change? Mm -hmm. For heaven's sake, I wasn't about to change. To suit the whims of whom? No. What I finally learned to do was accept who I was. Person of powerful emotions. Man of complicated desires. What desires? Unusual. Am I boring you? Oh no, um, I'm just still adjusting to the time change and possibly it could be all this for loose. <laughs> We're having so much fun. We have all the time in the world. I'll walk into your room. But above all else, I'm a gentleman. Thank you for a wonderful evening. It was just the beginning. Well, until tomorrow. Tomorrow.
Jack. has laid siege to Kensington. I thought this might be a more peaceful setting for Susan and the kids. I trust we're not intruding. No, your timing is impeccable as always. Taffer and I were just about to go hunting. I thought you had to stop after that Peter campaign. Water under the bridge. Susan, look. My brother's here. Hello, Jack. This is a surprise. Hi, Uncle Jack! Hello. Uh, yes, apologies for the scheduling snafu. I didn't realize you were planning on using the estate. Well, we're happy to have you here. The more the merrier. Actually, I was just about to depart. My companion and I were going to tour the countryside. Companion? 
Just go like that. And she's going hunting with you and Taffer. She's American. Ah, oh, of course. Children, let's get washed up and settled. Jack, where has all the staff gone? I sent them home in advance. I thought it might be nice to spend some time alone for a change. Right. Just you and your companion and Taffer. How grand. Indeed. I guess you'll have to carry your own bags. Right. hasn't been used in years. The slightest breeze can send it tumbling down on you. Sorry. I just couldn't help myself. You've been gone a long while. The prince will be worried. Come along, miss. Let's not keep his highness waiting.
You know how intimidating you can be from the lower class. Subbing with royalty. Jack. He's just trying to get a rise out of us, darling. Ignore him. I, for one, am famished. Ah, here we are. Smile, dear. Remember your manners. Timothy, Susan. It's my pleasure to introduce you to my friend, Alyssa. Alyssa? That's my brother, Timothy. His lovely wife, Susan. Charmed. That's such a lovely gown. Oh, thank you so much. It's really nice to meet you both. No chef on staff this evening, so I took the liberty of preparing my semi-famous stew and dumplings. Everyone, dig in. Yes, apologies for the fare. We don't always eat like kings. So how long have you two been dating? Not long. It's been sort of a whirlwind romance. Where did you meet? At an event in New York. Does your friend speak for herself, Jack, or are you just practicing your ventriloquist act? <clears throat> um, Jack is right. It really was love at first sight. Spoken. Do you imagine this one might linger a while? What is that supposed to mean? I think what Timothy means is it would be nice for you to finally settle down, Jack. Perhaps provide your nieces and nephews some cousins to play with. Settle down to a life of waving to buffoons from the backs of bendings? Please, just run me through now. You can spurn your duties all you like, Jack, but you won't turn your back on this family. I won't allow it. <laughs> you think you have a choice? You think I have a choice? We're the culmination of ten centuries of bloodlines, brother. Cousins to King Henry, to Mad King George, and you want me to be normal? Set down and sire some airs. Your lifestyle is unsustainable. You can't be the tabloid's favorite man-child forever, Jack. Let's see how far you get without the crown support.
I've never been them. Not for you or Mum or Grandad. You always treated me like an embarrassment. For Pete's sake, Jack, you're acting like an animal. This is precisely why we hit you away in the first place. Ah!
are you trying to hurt my feelings? I learned how to deal with people like you a very long time ago. Before you die, I will torture you slowly. I will make you watch. And they drain every last drop. Listening to you talk is torture enough. Be careful, Jack. Your public is watching. a ghost. What's the matter? Timothy, it's your brother. Be careful, Jack. Your mother is watching. You need to do something.
Elijah! Elijah! Jack? What did you do? Where's Taffa? What have you done? You knew. You've always known. You just chose to pretend. To focus on what mattered to you. Protecting the facade of the family. Please. Let me help you. You can't help me! Listen to me, Jack. Whatever's happened, whatever you've done, you're still my brother. Let me help you. You have tried so hard. No one can help me. Just a witness now, aren't you? Testimony to my privacy. Jack. <laughs>
are now on the shocking revelations that have rocked the royal family. Prince Jack, Earl of Northshire, known globally for his humanitarian works, as well as his high-profile romantic exploits, was captured during a live broadcast appearing to confess to a series of brutal crimes, including kidnapping and murder. All right, back it up, everyone. Back it up. Melissa, is it true you killed the prince and his bodyguard? No question. Come on, what's it like being here with the Mad Prince? No comment. You gotta give us a one day for your princess? it feel being famous? Rachel, I never wanted to be famous. Why do I keep on picking the wrong partner? What about me? I could be your partner. We could start our own firm and turn this newfound fame of yours to our advantage. I think that could work out splendidly. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Should we take our brand global? I think after everything that's happened, it's best to keep things domestic. For now. Good call. 